Currently, the aging Martyr IFV is being replaced in the German Army service with the new Puma. There are a number of surplus Martyrs that are currently in storage that can be overhauled, upgraded, and sold to new customers. Recently, Rainmetal developed an upgraded version of the Martyr IFV. This vehicle was developed as a private venture. It was first revealed in 2012 and referred as Martyr Close Combat Vehicle. This upgraded was originally tailored to meet Canadian Armed Forces' requirement. Canadians were looking for a highly mobile and well-protected infantry fighting vehicle in a weight class of 30 to 45T to accompany their main battle tanks. Canadian Armed Forces had a requirement for 108 vehicles. However, eventually the Rain Metal received no production orders from Canada. Currently, these upgraded armored vehicles are being proposed for various operators as the Martyr Revolution. It is being offered as a cheaper alternative to the new Puma IFE. Though by 2022 the Martyr Revolution received no production orders. Today, three versions of the Martyr Revolution are available, including infantry fighting vehicle, armored personnel carrier, and light tank. Basically, it is the same vehicle, but fitted with different turrets. The armored personnel carrier version is simply referred as the Martyr APC. It was also first publicly revealed in 2012. This armored personnel carrier has been extensively upgraded, redesigned, and massively uparmored. The original turret has been removed and hull roof has been raised for greater internal volume. Once the aging Martyr IFVs are rebuilt to the new standard it extends their life to another 15 or 20 years. The Martyr APC is better protected than most current armored personnel carriers. Vehicle is fitted with modular add-on armor. All-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Interior is lined with a spall liner. It is claimed that add-on armor also offers protection against RPG rounds. Protection against landmines and IED blasts has also been improved. Vehicle has a double floor with some space for deformation. It survives blasts equivalent to 8 kilograms of TNT under any track location or anywhere under the vehicle. Soldiers are seated on blast-protected seats that are attached to the roof rather than the floor. The Martyr APC is also fitted with NBC protection system. An active protection system is proposed as an option. This armored personnel carrier can be fitted with M151 Protector Remotely Controlled Weapon Station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. This vehicle can be also fitted with other weapon systems. This APC has a crew of two and can carry eight troops with their gear. Troop seats have been rearranged. In the original Martyr IFV troops are seated back to back. In the Martyr APC variant they are seated facing each other. Soldiers enter and leave the vehicle via a rear power-operated ramp. Also there are roof hatches for observation, firing, and emergency exit. Engine of the Martyr APC has also been upgraded. Vehicle is powered by an MTU MB883 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 600 to 680 horsepower, depending on the version. Engine is mated to an automatic transmission. Suspension has also been upgraded to give better mobility. The Martyr APC can be used as a basis for ambulance or command post vehicle. 